Hello, so I am Tom and I'm going to be reviewing the Doctor Who episode Deep Breath. So first of all, um, I thought this was a massive improvement from the Christmas episode, which I thought was pretty awful. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is Peter Capaldi as the Twelfth Doctor. Um, surprisingly I warmed him quite quick. Usually with David Tennant, it took me about t uh, 10 or 12 episodes before I got used to him as the Doctor, and Matt Smith took about two and a half seasons, so that was quite a bit more. But Capaldi, even just after this episode, I got used to him quite quickly, which I'm quite pleased about. And um, he seems to, it seems a lot more serious than um, when Matt Smith was the Doctor. It's like when Matt said a line, I couldn't quite always believe what he said. But with Capaldi, he says something and... I can believe what he says. Um, for speaking back about the improvement from the Christmas episode, this story made a lot more sense to me. I understood what was going on and it flowed very nicely. Um, I actually preferred it a lot more than the Christmas one and the 50th special, so I think Stephen Moffat's done a good job on this one. Um, there was just a few little problems I had with this one. The first thing was the song Tar and Humour, which not really keen on because back when the Suntarans originally were in the series they were this scary force and people were afraid of them and that they were very um, powerful and they, they just they killed whoever they wanted really but this one just seems to be making jokes and they're portrayed sort of in a silly way it happened in the Christmas one there was two Suntarans and they were just kind of making silly little jokes for like 30 seconds I just don't think it does the Sun Tyrants much justice. Um, there's a kiss scene in this between Vastra and Jenny, and reading in the newspapers, people seem to have panicked and says, Oh no, you can't show our children this, it's, oh no, you can't do this, you can't show them um, two women kissing. But, um, you know, it's not, and one review said it was um, BBC saying into a porn channel because of a kiss. Now, a man and woman kiss, do people say it's a porn channel? No, they don't, but as soon as two people of the same gender do it, it's like, ah, oh, no, you can't do this. I just think it's a bit silly, because it's an open, it's supposed to be an open show, there's aliens and monsters, you know, if people can accept them, they should be able to accept two people of the same sex kissing. Um, in terms of it being dark, I quite enjoyed it being a lot darker, because Moffat was doing a lot of the fairy tale stuff in a of the previous seasons but this one it feels more down to earth and um, I just in probably enjoyed it a lot more being darker and the skin hot air balloon was a nice little touch and it was nice to see someone getting impaled I quite enjoyed that um, Clara um, she has it she has developed a little bit more from um, Bat Smith's last season but I still can't quite quite get used to Clara just yet. I don't know why, I just I don't know. I got used to Rose and Martha and Donna quite quickly, but I'm not really too sure with Clara at the moment. I'll have to wait and see what else she has for us in the rest of the series. Um, but overall I quite enjoyed it. It was quite a fun episode. There was another bit that I had a bit of a problem with was when um Bestra shut the door on the carriage to the horses and it made a bleeping noise. Almost like a car door shutting and this is a reference to the end of time when David Tennant um, parks the TARDIS and it makes a car bleeping noise. But I thought it was a bit, a bit silly and it broke the seriousness for me a little bit when that happened. But overall, quite a good episode and thoroughly enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.